alloggio. Alloggio is Italian for accommodation, and that's exactly what we do. From day one, when we created a company on the 21st of December 2015, we went about creating a pro platform that brought together end-to-end -end seamless solutions for two key divisions. The first being holiday property management, where we manage exclusively on behalf of holiday homeowners their property. And the second is where we operate and commercially lease mid-market hotels, 13 of them, 428 rooms. Just to give you a quick shot, snapshot on the financials today, to June 30, 2021, we did $11.3 million in revenue, a 51% increase on the previous year. And that's without rent concessions or COVID stimulus grants, such as JobKeeper. Our EBITDA to June 30, 21, $4.7 million, which is a 70% increase on the previous year. Our platform, our well credential board, our key operating metrics, and our established team has have us ready and prepared to take on a very, very healthy pipeline of acquisitions of varying sizes and in varying locations. Um, a lot of you operates in the uh, short-term rental accommodation market. And what's that? It's privately owned holiday homes. That's 500,000 of them in Australia. The addressable market is 7.3 billion. Um, what do, how do we operate? We offer an end-to-end -end solution of the management and coordination of those holiday homes. And we distribute them on our website. And also, like traditional real estate agents, we distribute them on the OTAs, stays, Airbnb, et cetera. And it's important here to recognize that we are a large deal, like the traditional real estate agent, is the one-stop shop in relation to dealing with all of the activities of the holiday home, which is separate to a, a booking online travel agents such as Airbnb or Stays. The other division that we operate in is our mid-market hotels. And there, those mid-market hotels, using our platform again, we actually, um, um, through an online process, manage and coordinate locking and all of those activities centrally. Um, and that, that adds to our efficiency through our platform for our entire business. Yeah, um, Alagia today has um, eight, circa 880 holiday homes from Noosa down to the Morning Peninsula. And in between, we've got Coffs Harbour, Port Stephens, Newcastle, Shoalhaven, Jarvis Bay. And um, in our and, um, in our hotels, we're in um, Maitland, Bega, Bathurst, uh, Brisbane, and Newcastle. Um, and we offer a hub and spoke model. Centrally, both for hotels and for a holiday property division, we do reservations, finance, uh, pricing, uh, <clears throat> marketing and digital, etc. And then in the spoke, in the hotels, we offer a very simplified service um, um, for our team to, co to quality assure our, uh, our products. And in the holiday home division, what we do is in every location that we're in, we have an office. And in that office, we have our property care team. And our property care team go out and visit the holiday homes. They make sure they're there, cleaning is done, the gardening is done, the pool is ready for the traveler and we manage the key process in all our locations. From day one, Elagio went about make, creating its own platform. And in that platform, what we did is we, made, we tried to make it simple for travelers and holiday homeowners by ensuring that all aspects of property management and distribution are contained within a simple environment, be it managing and looking after procurement around housekeeping and linen or maintenance provision, managing and looking after the reservation process, the traveler communication, pre-arrival, on arrival, during the stay and at departure, and also managing and ensuring that all of the money is collected in a statutory fair trading trust account and paid for and coordinated and reconciled. And finally, it's about ensuring that distribution and pricing, be it on our own websites and marketplaces, or be it on the OTAs, such as your stays, or what if, or Travago, et cetera, is unified and priced to demand. And so this is what our platform has done. And above all, you can see by scale that all of those fall, those efficiencies and that leverage comes to pass. And you can see that practically, for example, with our EBITDA margin to June 30 this year, where we were at 41% and where we were at 37% the previous year. The vast majority will be spent on the acquisition of holiday property managements. Um, and they'll be right around the East Coast and beyond uh, of Australia. 
Um, we will continue to bolster some of our present locations and we will enter into new locations that make absolute sense for us. That will continue to add to our network, that will drive more variety for the traveller and allow more property owners to take advantage of our distribution and our platform. There will also be uh, some uh, on the procurement of mid-market hotels, again, that are strategic um, to the overall uh, network that is Alagio. So we've been very lucky at Alagio. Um, firstly, there's five board members, and um, just to speak about myself quickly, uh, 35 years in hospitality and tourism globally. I arrived in Australia in uh, January uh, 2000, and uh, almost immediately went and uh, helped create the largest privately owned commercial garden in Australia, and managed and ran that um, in the Hunter Valley until um, until 2009, and then went about uh, creating my own hospitality uh, ventures, and then founded uh, Alagio on the 21st of December 2015. Um, along with myself, the chairman uh, John Murphy, 25 years experience um, in accounting and public listed um, experience in is a, as a director in various um, private equity funds. Um, another Karen Howard, again with uh, I suppose collective 40 years of experience in establishing and scaling businesses and serving on many, many boards. Um, our management team um, are very, very uh, creative and adept in the disciplines of hotel management, property management, around technology and around digital marketing. Alagio operates in a highly fragmented world, 500,000 holiday homes. Alagio, we've got 880 holiday homes right now and we're the largest in Australia and we're only getting started. So you think about what is in front of us, all those beautiful destinations that we're yet to get into and we can too very quickly. You know, what has COVID taught us? Even through COVID, our company has grown. Um, we can see that even in the first quarter of 2022, we're a profitable business. With the easing of restrictions, we're ready to take advantage and we're ready to acquire and we have a very healthy pipeline ahead of us. So there's going to be more and more locations in the next weeks and months and years ahead that you will see us and we hope to welcome you.